guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Titus figure. The first large-scale action figure to hit the Classics line comes in the form of one of the hard-to-find giants from the original toy line. Titus is packaged inside of a window box, featuring the same deco we are used to seeing on all of the Classics packaging. It's a very similar box to what we have already seen with Battle Cat. The back of the box shows off a collection of figures already available, as well as an all-new bio for Titus. Okay guys, Titus is so massive that I can't even really fit this packaging in the usual photo tent that I film all of my figures in. So we're going to go ahead and do this live scene now just so I can show you the packaging. Now, as just like with the regular figures, Titus is shipped in the white mailer box. Now since I know you guys are going to ask, uh, he is... <laughs> the white mailer box is about 16 inches tall four inches thick. It's huge. And then of course out of that is Titus's packaging. Now the packaging itself stands about 15 and a quarter inches tall and about the same thickness. It is an incredibly cool window box, very similar to the, the design that we saw with Battle Cat, just a little more upright than long ways. Now, a lot of people have also asked exactly how the package is open. Can he be put back in? I haven't actually opened it yet, so let's see if we can figure that out right now. Now, I noticed that all the way down on both sides, you've got the little flaps here and pieces of tape. So we're just going to cut this guy open. We got some tape there. We got some tape there. And then we just got flaps everywhere. Yeah. All right, so we're going to pull the flaps out on the sides, if we can get them. I missed some tape. All right, see, it's a separate flap here than it is on the bottom. And there's more tape. Man, there's so much tape on this. And voila! So it does look like we'll probably be able to place Titus back in the stand-up and slide it back into the box if you wish to display him that way. So that's some cool news. So, what do you say we go ahead and take a closer look at Titus outside of his package? The sculpt and detail on this figure are really great. The Horseman did a terrific job of translating the style of Masters of the Universe classics into this 12 inch figure form. I mean, you look at him and you can just tell that he's a Masters character. He doesn't look like a doll, he looks like a giant He-Man action figure. Titus's armor displays the gray skull G. And just like with the standard figures, the armor is removable. Just unhook it in the back, and it slides right off. So, I guess if you wish to display your Titus shirtless, <laughs> you can do so. Although he's definitely got a bit of a Conan look going on for him. The headband piece is permanently attached to Titus's head. You can bend the piece up in the front to get a better look at the face if you want to, but it's really not meant to bend that way. The hair is sculpted on and is pretty hard plastic, and it does hinder the head movement quite a bit. Also on the same note, the loincloth piece is also made of a very hard plastic. So let's take a closer look at both his size and his articulation. Okay, this guy is so massive that it's actually easier for me to sit in front of the camera to talk about a lot of the things I want to show you guys. So let's get back to the size real quick. As you can see him standing next to Hero here, 
he is quite a bit taller than the standard Masters of the Universe Classics figure. Now, the standard figures usually stand roughly around 7 inches. While the box for Titus calls him a 12-inch figure, he actually is closer to 13 inches tall. As you can see, Hero and even bringing He-Man into the picture here, they are just above the mid-thigh on Titus. I mean, he really is a massive, massive figure. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is the articulation on Titus. Now, being a new 12-inch scale figure, the articulation is a little bit different than what we've already seen with the standard Classics figures. He actually looks pretty much the same. The build seems the same, and the articulation cuts almost completely match up with what we're seeing on the standard figures. But it is lacking a lot of the movement that you get out of the other figures. So just take a look here. First of all, we'll look at the head. It's not ball jointed, so you're not going to get any up and down movements. It's only going to go left and right, and it's only going to go left and right as far as the hair allows, because the hair is a hard plastic, and this is really all you're going to get right here. You're not going to get much more than this. So the hair does kind of limit the movement, and like I said, it's not going to go up and down. Not any more than I'm getting right here. The shoulders are not ball jointed, so don't expect to get your figure to raise his arm. Titus is not going to be able to raise his arm. Uh, this is the best you're going to get out of that. Instead, you just get the standard classic action figure articulation swiveling forward and backward. You do have an elbow cut. You do have a wrist cut. So, I mean, at least you do still have that amount of movement. Uh, the ball joints, the lack of ball joints, it's not terrible, but they definitely could have been there. It could have helped out a little bit. There is no torso cut underneath the armor. Uh, the best movement you're going to get here is side to side at the waist. And as stated, the loincloth is made of a hard plastic, so that is going to get in the way of the leg movement. Uh, it's not too bad. The legs do move a little bit, but I mean, you're not really going to be able to get them in a sitting pose. This is the best you're going to get out of them right here. Uh, the legs do not move. They do not pivot out. They do not move side to side. You're only going to get the forward backward motion. Then you have your knees, and that is it for the legs. Oh, I'm sorry, the foot does twist, but there is no ankle articulation, so there's no joints down here in the ankles. You're stuck with the foot exactly as it's positioned, and that is going to do it for your articulation in Titus. It's definitely not bad. I'm okay with this articulation, but it's a lot less compared to the standard 7-inch size classic figures. Titus also includes his classic body snatcher weapon. It's quite a crazy looking device. Based on what the classic figure's box art shows, the weapon is supposed to be utilized to pick up smaller characters. This new version has a design to do the same thing. The part underneath that is designed to catch the figures is made of a hard plastic. It seems to be able to snap onto the head of most figures, like Faker here. But it has a harder time fitting on figures such as Hordak. Also, I would be careful, as the hard plastic on the catcher might possibly scratch the paint on your figures. It's also worth noting that the weapon is a little too heavy for Titus's arm. While holding it, his arm just seems to fall limp. Sometimes you can get him to pose with it fine, but it always tends to eventually drag his arm down. Alright, it's comparison time. While I wish I had the original, actual Titus figure to compare him to, <laughs> I don't. He's a really, really rare figure and I've kind of come to terms with the fact that I'll probably never own him. So the best I can do is offer up this picture. The overall look of the figure is updated perfectly, minus the real hair used on the original. Since the original Titus is one of those figures I always dreamed of adding to my Masters of the Universe collection, it's incredibly exciting for me finally having this figure available. This is the closest I will ever get to owning the original, and believe me, it's good enough for me. While the articulation isn't quite on par with the rest of the line, 
Overall, I'm very pleased with this figure, and at keeping my fingers crossed that we eventually also see a Megator to display alongside him. Titus goes on sale as May's bonus figure and will most definitely sell out fast. So good luck to everyone who was wishing to order him, and until next time guys.